All right, now in this example, we're asked to express the repeating, or in other words, 3, 6, 3, 6, 3, 6, forever. That's what the bar represents. We're asked to express this repeating decimal as a fraction of integers in lowest terms, or they, I believe they say quotient of integers, which means a fraction. So the trick here is when you have infinitely repeating things, as long as there's a pattern, hence the word repeating, you instead of putting it over multiples of 10, we're going to put it over 9 in each position. So if this, just as an example to compare it with, if this was not 0.36 repeating but just 0.36, then I would say this is 3, 6, and I had two decimal places, so over 100, and I would reduce this fraction, that would be that. But this continues on forever. So the trick here is that I still do 3, 6 in the numerator, but then instead of dividing by 100, 1 with two zeros, I'm going to divide by this many 9s. So 9, 9, and I had two decimal places, so that's it. I'm going to divide by 99. Now we just need to reduce this. So I do notice that it's divisible by 9 on the top and bottom. So if I do that, 36 divided by 9 is 4. 99 divided by 9 is 11. And if I could reduce any further, I would, but I can't. That's the completely reduced fraction, and that, 4 elevenths, is 0.36 forever, and that's this example.